That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. We get a look now at the 49ers defense as they get into position. They're losing here as we begin the third quarter, trying to stop this from being a bigger deficit. And I used to play for a coach who always talked about getting the other team's attention. And in this case, they want to let them know that you're going to do the dictating from here on out, not the other way around. Trying to impose their will as we start the third. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Brandon, that play ended so fast, it's almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner, and the tackle was there right away for a loss of yardage. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll look to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Third and five, so they bring in an extra defensive back. Expecting pass. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Gardner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. But it was stopped on that play. We said plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then, the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to them the rest of the game. So now at third and seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DBs. Looking to throw. Surveying the field. He's going to rifle one. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way touchdown New York a big play there his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Giants add on to their lead in order to lead in a game you're gonna get plenty of contributors but that's his second touchdown catch of this game he's one of the key guys in this one and you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go extra point attempt here still to come And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10th. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw. And now off to the races down the right side. Touchdown, 49ers. A great effort there. 70 yards. And the 49ers are back within a score. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. Now the try here for the extra point. It's up and good, and the lead's now down to three at 20 to 17. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The New York set to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Nine yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. Here we go now. Ooh, and he'll give it here to his running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It's a loss of four. Now third down. No matter what play call you have on, you're always conscious of edge pressure disrupting you. And it doesn't matter whether it's a pass or a run. And in this case, it was a draw, and the edge pressure came in and destroyed the play. Yeah, they've got an extra defensive back out there now on third and 13. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And the Giants send out their punter now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. Oh, he will not go down. Have to retake those ankles. That'll go down as just a 20-yard punt. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Blue 
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he comes back with one complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Back to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 54 yards away. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. And New York set to take the field. They got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They'll look to throw here. Going right side here, and that's complete. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Face mask penalty, and Charles, you were a defender. You know sometimes in the heat of the moment, it's hard to keep your hands away from that face mask. Sometimes you just get out of position as a defender when you're trying to make a tackle, so you end up flailing away, and your hand gets into the wrong spot. They'll look to throw here on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. There's so many things that go into playing the position of linebacker. Some of them are actually subtle. Doing the drill work that you do all the time in practice and carrying it over to the game. Get rid of blockers and get to the ball carrier and knock him down for a loss. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball of their hands fast in this position and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. And his kick is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. 
So three field goals for him here, and this last one helps him stretch out the lead. And he's been solid as usual, and this is what you need to do. Make sure you get points out of every possession, and so far they've done a nice job of that. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken near the 13. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> They come up at an offset eye. They'll look to throw. Incomplete. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just drop to a point and react into the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment, and then locate a guy. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Back to throw here. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. The 49er defense now heading back out there. And they did well down near the goal line last time, forcing him to settle for a short field goal. And in today's day and age, settling for a field goal of that distance is amazing. You can get three points now, where it's going to give you only one point for the extra point, which would be a little bit longer. But they have to feel fantastic about only giving up three in that situation. It could have been so much worse. Yeah, it could have. Now can they carry that over? Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And they'll run it here. Oh, he shifts past him. And some room to roam now. And he makes it all the way down to the 19. It's a big-time play there for the G-Men. 52 yards on the ground. And Mr. Reliable shows those legs again here in the playoffs. And what do coaches tell us all the time? In the playoffs, the team that runs the football well will win the game and ultimately be a champion. They're trying to prove that fact today. Setting the tone on the ground. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great play there. 14 yards. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. 
I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. And they will line up now for the two-point try. They'll try and throw for it. That's caught at the one. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Alert, alert. Three down, three down. Ha! Green, 39. They go play action here on first down. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. But tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. I'll take your word for it, my man. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. A nice gain of 21 yards. Nowadays, this has become routine, hasn't it? That was a heck of a route there by the tight end. A great double move for a big-time catch downfield. First down following that long game. You're watching the NFL playoffs on EA Sports. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Pass the 20. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A big play there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the 49ers have cut it back within a score. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And this is back to a five-point game is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch-counterpunch, punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. If <laughs> you love pressure, we'll, I love we'll it. see if they dial it up this drive. Second down following the incompletion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage here going down back at the 28. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. 
And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Give him six on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. They got the completion, but they didn't get the first down. So you've got to think, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're pretty happy with what you just accomplished there. Yeah, guy, like you said, got him out of bounds, stopped the clock, kept him short of the marker. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the Niners are going to take possession, albeit deep in their own territory. We get a look now at the Giants' defense as they file into position. They've had a couple passing touchdowns against them in this game, and that last drive they really got picked apart. They've got to figure out how to tighten things up because no matter what they've done, whatever adjustments they've made, offense has been a step ahead of them. So they've got to figure it out. Usually, a sack of the quarterback can help change the moment. Maybe bring some pressure. I think maybe a little bit of pressure would help them greatly. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 15 yards there on the catch and run. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. He'll look to throw. Room here to run. And avoids the contact by sliding. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. drop to throw it looking left sideline incomplete second down here after the incomplete pass the out route such a timing route that sometimes the guy throwing the ball just throws it almost blindly just kind of counts on that timing winning and in this case the ball was batted away oh he's got some breathing room and he's able to get this one down to the 40 yard line that one good for 16 and the drive will continue here on first down and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down we know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught ten yards still left on second down Throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And what a return as he brings this one all the way back to the 25-yard line. Well, this is one of the downsides of being a rookie quarterback. You know you're going to get called out about everything you do that goes wrong. Here, maybe he's a little uncertain about where to go with the football. And at this level, uncertainty equals turnovers. And this one winds up being intercepted. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. 
The play action fake. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the three. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver, saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Giants use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. The kicking team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part. Forget the bad. I like that even better. He'll drop to throw. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. After that incompletion, I almost get the sense that he's going to look up at the booth and, and kind of look at us and say, hey, you guys got any suggestions? It's been that kind of game, hasn't it? They've had him on the run throughout. Yeah, and I get that you're trying to make a play here losing fourth quarter, but to throw when you're not set with pressure coming could have been an interception. Very much so, and it's been that kind of game for him. They've had him on the run, had him off balance. He's got to find a way to make some big-time throws down the stretch. Trying to defend a drag route is really tough because you don't want to jump a route the shorter or underneath as the drag route is too quickly because oftentimes they want to run that route and then hit over the top of you for bigger yardage. So if you can, if you can chip off the timing of the receiver off the line of scrimmage so he can't actually get into the route, that's the best way to defend it. But there was no possibility of that on that play. End result, the receiver won in a big way. They'll set up a throw. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. They'll look to throw again. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And across the chalk into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the 49ers are back within a score. Now for the point after. And this is back to a five-point game. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken about the 12. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. 
And the 49ers defense gets ready here as they try back out there. Now they gave up a touchdown last drive. You kind of need to hit the reset button after every touchdown given up, Charles. I love that. And, and the way that you phrased it is perfect because from series to series, you can reset how the game is going to go. If you gave up a touchdown before, it doesn't mean you have to do it again. And if you made a great play before, you have to reset again anyway because they're going to attack. So I love the way you phrase it and put it out there. That's what they have to do in this series. Not like when you're playing a video game. You can't hit the reset button here. Let's go. No, you shouldn't anyway. That's for sure. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Off the corner, where'd he come from? Well, I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. I like when you're able to pose a question and answer it at the same time. <laughs> That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he was a big factor in the run game. No gain. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. And the Giants send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And now a high kick here as they'll try to cover this one. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And you really can't pin that one on the quarterback, Charles. The O-line, they've got to protect better. And they know it. That's their meal ticket. They want to take care of the big guy behind them. In this case, they let him down. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And now it's a third and four situation for the offense. One receiver left, two to the right. They'll look to throw here. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to kick it away. Forty six on his first kick this one in that neighborhood as well. And take it right on the 30. A 46 yard boot but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards and possession will switch hands first and 10. And New York set to take the field and they're coming off a three and out my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, and realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Holding off 
Dolphins. Yeah, that right there will set him back a bit on the offensive holding penalty. And you know who you want to pressure after a penalty like that? The guy who just committed the foul. You want to see if he's going to keep his head down or if he's going to get his head right back into the game. I'd send a blitz at him right away and see if he holds up. He's going to walk, and that's caught inside the 30. A gain of 39 that time. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. The completion good for three, and it's second down. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Now a handoff looking right. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants add on to their lead. Not only touchdown number two for him, but a big run to boot. However, still trailing. Still trailing, but not because of his efforts. Well, he's playing really well, and I love his long speed there, right? Able to get out there and burst all the way to the end zone and smart enough to keep the ball in his hands and get into the end zone for the touchdown. In 2016, on all levels of football, we're seeing guys drop it before the goal line. What's the rule, Brandon? Run into the goal, to the post, goal post That's before right. you, you drop the ball. That. There you go. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. They're just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards there on the pickup. And that leads to a San Francisco first down. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drop. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. On any pass in the middle of the field, anyone is going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Second down now after the pass completion. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Right, Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They'll set up to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Fourth quarter, two-minute warning about to hit, and it looks like they're going to get one more play in. It'll be interesting to see what they try and do on this play. Do they try and take a shot, or do they just try and get to the two-minute warning? So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And here comes play number six on this drive. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Back to 
throw here. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Back to throw now on first down. And he's got his man on the out route. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards on the pickup. And it'll be first down 49ers. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This will be caught at the two. And he's brought down. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. And quickly, they get to the line. Back to throw. He's got time in the pocket. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. But nobody was open downfield there. Looked like a pretty clear throw away. Yeah, definitely was that. I'm wondering why there wasn't intentional grounding. I know they're saying there's a receiver there in the area. Those dumb quarterbacks, they get away with everything. <laughs> Spoken like a true defensive back, Mr. Davis. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. A great read and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Green 39! Green 39! Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll power his way up near the 25. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Green 39! Green 39! And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll... The 49ers going to take another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And four. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Hey, hey, hey. Go, go. Check me out. Check me out. Go. Let's go. All right, now. Lucky 56. Lucky 56. Now a handoff here to his running back. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will change here with very little time remaining in this contest. And now the 49er offense ready to go and getting back out onto the field. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end a, as you end a ball game. It's been a frustrating one for you. And we'll see if they go back to base. 
It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. One receiver left, three to the right. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He's going to let it fly. And got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.